Hey, my name is Guy Athena and recently I've been busy reorganizing my bookshelves after my brother gifted me a bookshelf that he no longer had use for. So that took me a while and I thought I'd give a quick overview or not so quick as the case may be. I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna film this like this rather than with myself in the picture because I feel that is a lot easier. This is the first shelf and it is fantasy, some of my fantasy books. So we have this shelf is all of Terry Pratchett's books that I own. It's double stacked but I'm sure you can see that. And this shelf has some new gaming, some Gills at Martin, some miscellaneous books and then behind it we have lots of Anne McCaffrey books. I was a big fan of the Dragon Riders of Pern series when I was a teenager. And here the bottom shelf we have some books from also when I was like a teenager, early 20s is um, some books by James Clemens, some books by David B. Coey and behind it we have some Ter Terry Brooks books then oh here's a quick overview of the room we now move on to my second bookcase of fantasy mm. um, the first bookshelf is some translated works and some various uh, fantasy for children. This whole bookcase, this this one, is all uh, fantasy for children and young adults. Let's see what's behind it. Ian Colfer is behind it as well as like a variety of other books. Then we here have Angie Sage books, Brandon Moll. We've got Sister Scrim, some other fantasy books. Yeah, just various things. Here we have my Maria, Maria F. Snyder collection and some more books of various authors behind it then my Rangers Apprentice books and Brother Band books and some other oh, behind it we have the Percy Jackson books mm, it's a bit too dark to see but then here we have some books in the Wings of Fire series, um, some books in how the How to Train Your Dragon series, and some books in um, I, what's the name of the series? Oh, The Last Dragon Chronicles. And behind it, we have uh, some Cornelia Funke books and some Diane Wynne Jones books, as well as a variety of just standalones on the top. I always do that. Here we have some books by. Paul Stewart and Chris Rodell, and also some books just by Chris Rodell, V.E. Swab, and a couple other books. Um, behind it are my Sarah J. Maas books, as well as a bunch of other stuff. Then we get to this bookcase. It's also fantasy, it's mostly adult fantasy, except the top shelf. Um, I put some miscellaneous books for children that are fantasy on the shelf as well as uh, some Catherine Fisher books we have Aragon behind it oh, what else have we got behind it oh yeah Mercedes Lackey uh, then the rest of the shelf hasn't changed since 
the reorganization I just did, but I'll tell you about it anyway. So on this shelf we have lots of Remedy Feist. Behind it we have some Jenny Wurtz. Um, I have a series of books by her, but it's not complete. There's a few volumes missing in between, I think, and some some other books behind it. The lighting here is not great. I apologise. Um, here we have some books by. Can we focus? Some books by David Eddings. And a couple of books by David and Lay Eddings. Lee Eddings? I'm not sure how you pronounce her name. Um, we have some Maggie Fury books behind here. Some Sarah Douglas. A couple of other um, books. And this shelf has lots of Robin Hood books. As well as um, some books that she wrote um, under her actual name, I think Megan Lindholm. We have some R.A. Salvatore books. And it's really too dark to see much more, so we'll just move on. Here we have my Adrian Tchaikovsky. Um, what's the name of this series? Well, I have, this, I have the books in this series and then a couple other ones. I can't remember the name of the series. Oh, uh, Shadows of the Apt. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, and some more books behind it, but you can't see that anyway. Um, here we have some Guy Griffey OK and a variety of other books. Um, there's some books here by um, some German authors as well, but then the, the Dutch translations. Then this bookcase hasn't changed much either. For this last reorganization, I realise you, you, can, you can't really see it all that well because of these boxes. Uh, so on the top we have my Ted Williams books and behind it I think are some various um, books. I oh, know, James Barclay and probably something else. Um, Juliette Marie Lane, I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce her name. Then we have Brent Weeks. Behind it we have Lord of the Rings. Michelle Paver, Paver? I'm not sure. And, well, there's a couple of other books on the shelf. But I don't want to make this video too long either. Um, here we have some jo Joanne Harris books. Uh, some David Gemmel. Um, these ones are by... I keep forgetting this author's name. David Farland. And we have... I can't read her name. I think it's Sabina Zettel. Some Garth Nix books and a couple other ones. We have, mm, you can't really see, it's a books of a song of ice, of ice and fire. I do like that series. We have a couple of Jim Butcher books. Um, I think behind it is uh, Wise and Hickman. Uh, several, lots of their books. We have W.J. Merrison. Um, and we also have um, Steven Erickson's um, Garland, the, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, the Malazan, the Malazan books? Malazan of the Fallen? So something like that. And this is the bottom shelf, I think mostly contains more miscellaneous books and some other books, but we can't get to that right now. So then we go over here. This is my couch. I flipped the pillow over because it has a picture of me and my partner in it and I don't know if he would appreciate for that to be like online so I flipped it over but normally it's not flipped over <laughs> it's my some of my plants there's the garden and then we get to these bookshelves now this this middle one is actually it's just in a door that I used to the, the previous owners or the owners before them or something they closed it up but um, yeah, so this hasn't changed. This contains some of my favourite fantasy books. At the top we have the Wheel of Time books by Robert Jordan and a few written by Brandon Sanderson. We have the, the graphic novels and a few other books. Then we have my Brandon Sanderson shelf. Which I also really like a lot of these books. I haven't read all of them but the ones I have read I quite liked. Then we have Trudy Canavan? Canavan? I'm not sure how you pronounce her name. I really like her books. I've read all of them um, except 
this one because it's not completed yet. I'm waiting for book four. But I read all of these. Um, then we have Ursula Le Guin. I really like the Earthsea books. And then the last shelf has um, Karen Miller and Peter V. Brett. And then we get to this shelf. This top shelf has my Harry Potter books. Uh, I got the book set as well as some in Dutch and in English. I have some uh, books by Robert Galbraith, who is a J.K. Rowling, some other Harry Potter related books. Then here we have some books by Walter Moos. I'm not sure if that's the right pronunciation, but anyway, we have some books by Andrew Rowe. Well, you can you can see it anyway. There's just a, a some some different fantasy books, and behind it we have uh, L. E. Modisett Jr. as well as Melanie Braun. Then we get to this shelf. We have. Fiona McIntosh and well Natalie Koch Taron Taron Mataru Patrick Rothfuss and we have Sila Dot Taunton and Stephen Donaldson here we have some Terry Goodkind books as well as um, Marianne Zimmer Bradley whose books are at the back because it turns out she's not a very nice person so I don't know if I'll um, ever read more of her books or not but well I haven't I didn't want to throw them away or anything but it, yeah anyway so this bookshelf is more um, like urban fantasy paranormal kind of stories so at the top we have Anne Rice's vampire uh, books and also a couple of witches books mostly vampires um, and then at the back we have no at the back it's just some miscellaneous vampire books um, here we have the Wicca series by Kate Tiernan I read all of these when I was a teenager and it's I think it was really the first paranormal books of uh, fantasy books that I've read or one of them anyway um, and behind it we have Charlene Harris this which is called cool. uh, Charlene Harris books with um, some True Blood books and some other ones. This is, well, some several different by uh, different authors. Um, get up to behind, oh, behind it we have some uh, Maggie Stiefvater and I uh, can't pronounce that uh, Fallen series uh, Four books uh, but not the one by Lauren Kate I don't have that and um, then we have Twilight hope you can hear me right and uh, the host by Stephanie Mayer we have an Alice in the Well series and a bunch of books behind it uh, by Rachel Kane then we have um, some Cassandra Clare books yeah, so this this whole shelf basically is uh, Cassandra Clare books as well as a couple of other books and this is a shelf with Darren Shan's books as well as a couple of other books then we get to the horror shelf which is here this also hasn't changed much I'm just gonna move the couch out of the way so I have more space um, we start at the top uh, these are mostly books by Paul von Loon he is a Dutch children's horror author and I really like him horror and so also what could be considered paranormal but um, so most of these are by him it's a couple of books by other authors and that continues here Paul van Loon and a bunch of other authors formed um, Het Giselgenootschap and they wrote these books and I also have uh, various books that were written by like some of them, Tom van Rijn, we got Eddie C. Bertin, we got Peace van Ede, um, we got Thijs Ting. There is yeah, a whole bunch of much of that book books here. Um, behind it as well. Yeah, there's lots of them. There's some, some other books by other authors behind it as well. Then we have my Arl Stein um, Fear Street collection. 
and behind it is are some uh, bigger Fear Street books. Well, when I say bigger, I mean taller. It's a different kind of edition. Um, in Netherlands, they chose to do it that way, but I think the original American books were not separate like that. But anyway, and we got some some books by other authors. So these are more mostly books by that have been translated, whereas this is all mostly Dutch. Not all of it, but most of it. And here we got um, Point Horror books and um, some other books. I think yeah, there's some um, some other books by this same publisher behind it. Um, this is my Stephen King shelf. It is um, double or even triple stacked. I uh, I was gifted a lot of Stephen King books by a family friend who wanted to get rid of them. And also I've bought a few of my own as well. Um, and then here we have some more miscellaneous horror books. So we got some Anthony Horowitz. Um, as well as a couple of other things that didn't fit anywhere else. Okay, now we move on to this side of the room. I'm going to move the couch to that way again. Now here we have my science fiction and dystopians book cases. So what I've done now basically is I've put everything uh, that has more realistic elements in that room, for the most part, and then everything that has some fantastical or futuristic or like paranormal elements in this room, if that makes sense, because there's a like a, a doorway there. Okay, so we start with the science fiction. This bookcase contains mostly mostly adult science fiction and then the first three shelves of this one is some young adult dystopians and science fiction. A couple of adult books in there and then we have some more adult science fiction. So we start at the top here. This shelf contains all my Peter of Hamilton books and I love his works. He is I think my favorite science fiction author of like adult epic science fiction. Here we have some more of my favourites, um, a whole bunch of people, Joe Haldeman, Scott Mayer, we got Yahtzee Crosshaw whose books really defy genres but I've put it here, we got Ernest Klein, we got a book by Andy Weir, we got Becky Chambers, we got Hitchhiker's Got the Galaxy, and then here we have some more books, a variety of them, so we got yeah, a whole bunch of books. Here we have Ian M. Banks and James S. A. Corey. I there's two more books to be released in this series, I believe. And behind we have some random um some other books. Then we have Alistair Reynolds, uh Neil Asher and uh some other books behind there. I can't well, it's a bit bad to see with the lighting. Then we have Isaac Asimov and then Simmons. And we have some vintage science fiction covers behind there. Of um, It's like books by various authors. In, they've been translated into Dutch. But they are all published in like the same sort of series. Um, so this begins The Young Elder Dystopians. We got Susan Collins, Veronica Roth, Marie Lou, and some extra ones. We got some more stuff behind it. Um, some other dystopians trilogies. We got Michael Grant. Grant. We got Lauren Oliver. Um, and more stuff behind it. We got Beth Rivers, the Illuminate Files trilogy. Um, we got the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. We got some Patrick Ness books. We got uh, some books by Kes Morgan. We got some James Dashner. We got some Scott Westerfeld. We have some Harry Murphy books. Rick Yancey, um, Rachel Ward, Ali Condi, and Kira Cass. I can't remember what's behind here on top of my head. That looks like just a random. Oh, so we've got Mallory Blackman there. Well, there's some other stuff behind there, it's a bit hard to get to right now. Then here we have some of my uh, um, 
like television series books. Um, so first behind it are the June books, as well as CJ Cherry. Um, I don't have a lot of her books, but I have a couple. Though I haven't read any of them. Um, these are Stargate. Then we have a lot of Star Trek books. And yes, some some other books. And then here continues with the Star Trek. Got some Dragon Age books there, some Mass Effect. And then we get some Star Wars books. And behind it we have some some uh let's see, Robert Heinlein and Czech Vance. Um kind of falls a bit in the way at this. Uh behind it is Orson School Card. A few of his books. I liked Ender's Game, but considering the person he is, I don't know if I'll read any more of his books. This is um, Alan, uh, Arthur C. Clarke and Stephen Baxter, and they're on the same shelf because I have one book that is written by both of them, so that's why that's here. I also have a book that's written by Stephen Baxter and um, Terry Pratchett, but that's on the Terry Pratchett shelf. I, I have several of that series. Okay. Now we're going into this room, and this bookcase here, um, the left one is biographies and memoirs and books about books, and the a thousand and one books, and the, oh, the one on the right is information books and self-help and those kinds of things. Oh, I hope I can, it's a bit hard here to get the angles right. So the top shelf is, um, doesn't have anything behind it actually, but if I move everything to the back, I can't really reach it because this one's quite tall. So I just have it's just one row, and these are um, uh, memoirs written by celebrities, and also um, some memoirs written by people with a certain job, for example, like a paramedic or a police officer or like stuff like that, and. Here's a bunch of books about companies. Um, then this shelf contains all of my autistic uh, memoirs. So the memoirs are written by autistic people. Or in a few cases are written by the parents of an autistic child. Um, but I do prefer the memoirs of the people themselves. And also some information books about autism. They are here too. Um, so this is like... Yeah, I really like this shelf. Here we have some books about ADHD so it's it's not only memoirs it's also information books this is mostly information books and then anxiety and body positive power simply because uh, these two are very important to me to the back we have um, uh, memoirs by uh, people with like a mental illness or a physical illness or disability or like yeah, um, some memoirs about losing weight, some memoirs about people with cancer, well, the variety of things. I, I like reading memoirs, yeah, about those sorts of things. Um, now this, these are some memoirs to do with animals, these, these few. These are books by George Mahood. I've read a few, well, two of his books and I really liked them. So I decided to buy more of them. We've got Josh Sundquist. We got um, some LGBT related um, information books and memoirs. We got Tuna Dawson. And behind it are some books um, about like um, people who were abused as a child. I have, I have a few of those books and some, some other kind of memoirs. Then here is all the books about books and, and also a few books about other things, but um, so it's um, memoirs about people's reading life here and there we have more like how to read a book and like a thousand and one books to read and things like that. And this is the thousand and one books books. So we have a thousand and one books but we also have a thousand and one movies and, and so on. Then we move on to the next shelf. On this shelf we have some um, like some small books filled with like more quotes and things, some helpful um, self-help bits 
and a variety of other things. These are all my um, in Dutch this series is called Waanzinnig om te weten. In English it was horrible histories, horrible science and horrible geography etc. In Dutch they have made them all into one series and they're called Waanzinnig om te weten and I really like these books. Here are some other books. Oh, behind it are some um, more miscellaneous self-help books and um, other information books. So here's the, some of the math books. Um, some are also... So here's a few and the books about the universe are behind there and the physics are behind there. Um, we have some books with various facts. Can we focus? We have some QI books and behind it a variety of other information books. Here we have some more like self-help-ish books and more books behind it as well information and yeah um a variety of things it's it's a bit too much work to take it out now but yeah here we have some more information books and mostly these last two shelves are my bigger information books that are quite tall as you can see tall and big so these are more um like encyclopedias and um, some books about Greek myths over there, just about uh, like a variety of subjects. Some of these are about animals or history. A lot of them were bought cheaply at the library, but the library sales. Okay, that's the end of that. Now we go over here. Um, okay, let's start with the historical fiction, I guess. Um, this shelf has barely changed as well. Uh, all I did was add two books to it. I added Cersei and The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I haven't read either one of those yet. Um, so the top shelf um, behind it contains a lot of Thea Beckman's books. Here's one of them, but the rest is behind it. Um, I really like her work. We have some Brian Selznick books. I also really like these. And um, some Eve Tartman, mostly Heinemann, there's some mostly books from like my childhood, not all of them, but a lot of them. Um, so the top the top shelf is more uh, like young adult historical fiction for the most part. And then we have Diana Gabaldon, um, um, Jean M. Ariel, not entirely sure to pronounce that. I, 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 I read. I, I don't read historical fiction a lot anymore. I used to read a bit more back in the day. We have some Ken Follett, Follett? Uh, some Edward Rutherford and more stuff behind it. Um, I, I think I did some of it a bit based on the period in which they take place. Um, that's how I used to have it. And these bomb shelves are mostly um, Dutch, um, the shelf anyway, um, Dutch, uh, we call them streekromans, so they are historical fiction that take place in, on like a Dutch countryside back in like, um, I'm sure the 1900s or beginning of the 20th century, I'm not entirely sure, it depends on the book, um, I have quite a few of those and a lot of them were bought at the library, uh, there's more behind it, and more here and these are just some other uh, miscellaneous historical fiction books then we get to the manga bookcase this has also not changed much um, most of the manga books in this bookcase are my boyfriends my partners so all of these the first five shelves these ones that you see in the view now they're all his um, and then these two shelves are mine, as well as what's on the floor there. And then this last... So these two shelves are mine. That's mine. And then the, this last shelf is his again. But we share, of course. Um, so the top shelf contains... With the light, I really like that series. We've got chill bits, like that as well. Suzuka. Like that too. Aiyori Yoshi. That's incomplete. Love Hina, Nagumi is also incomplete, some other ones. Kirikiano, that's uh, the series I started with in reading manga and I really love those, so so does my partner. 
we got some Girls in Pants, we got some Yuki Chen and Haruhi. Uh, we got some Fruits Basket, I'm uh, reading it at the moment. Well, I mean, not like right now, but I read, I, I, we only recently managed to, like recently, a few months ago, managed to complete this. And so I'm rereading the first lot to then read the first one, the, the next lot. I'm not explaining this very well, am I? Anyway, I'm reading the series um, this year. Um, so, look forward to reading more of that. We've got some initial D that's also not complete. Uh, some, oh my goddess, scientific railgun, I don't like you at all, big brother. Um, now that we get to my, the books that I bought, cheese, uh, the complete cheese, sweet home, bunny drop, uh, some orange, we got I am here, some miscellaneous ones, we got princess jellyfish. Um, there's nothing behind it, there's nothing behind any of these, by the way, really. Uh, my partner prefers his books single stacked and that fits so we've got some more miscellaneous ones here various various ones and then this bomb shelf contains his um tom clancy and clive Cussler and i don't know a bunch of other things oh let's turn around again the camera's getting pretty hot from all this um so now we get to um the thrillers and detectives and mystery shelves and literary thrillers um, so let's start at the top. Um, I have uh, on this top shelf mostly books that are based on television series. So we got here the books based on Death in Paradise. I love that series. We got X Files. I used to watch it a lot when I was younger. We got The Vow and Baantje. Oh, hang on. Um, okay, where were we? Yeah, so this top shelf. Uh, contains lots of books, the TV series. Behind uh, all this is uh, some CSI, um, possibly a couple of other things. Yeah. So this shelf is all of my Banja books, other than the Val Banja, but the rest of them, all the Banja books are here. I have a lot of them, I really like Banja. Um, so there's this. This is a series, and then it continues back there because it's too much to film on shelf. This shelf is uh, Lusten Hollander books. She is a Dutch uh, li author that mostly writes for literary thrillers. And I wouldn't normally, like, I say literary thriller because that's on a lot of the covers, so... Yeah, then we have here another shelf of literary thrillers. We got Esther Verhoef, we got Simone van der Vlucht, we got Sask Saskia Noord, we got Charles and Tex, and um, Thea Hofstraten, and... Well, a couple of other things. Here we have Linda van Rijn and Susanne van Meer. And behind it we have lots of books behind it all there. By Robin Cook. I used to read a lot of Robin Cook books when I was younger. I was like in my teens. Um, this shelf has a lot of Agatha Christie books. And then uh, Jet van Vuren. Then here we have... Um, behind it some miscellaneous books and then here we have some AJ Copperman books and some thrillers. Behind there we have um, Alexander McCall Smith as well as uh, Jasper Ford. We have Joe Nesbo, Stieg Larsson, Gillian Flynn and a couple other books. We have um, Wycliffe books. Here we have Patricia Cornwell. I read quite a few of her um, Scapata series when I was younger. Behind it we have some more like Swedish and Norwegian books. We've got Henning, Henning Monkel. And um, behind that, so this is triple stacked, we have some uh, Shawal and Malou and a couple other books. I'm pretty not pronouncing that correct. Here we have John Grissom. I also used to read that a lot more when I was younger. And some other thrillers. Um, wait. Oh, it's going well. I really, I this this caterpillar. I knock that over all the time when I'm here. Okay, 
so behind John Grissom we have some Tescarton and behind that we have some other detectives and thrillers we got some Stephen Saylor and um, this is some YA thrillers we got Mel Wallace the Fries and Helen, Fre Helen Freisweig Helen Freisweig um, some Dan Brown and a couple other things and this starts uh, sort of the more rom-com section so it really belongs with the other bookcases over there so we have some Mariette Middlebake who wrote some rom-com and also some Wyatt Fellows we got um, Nick Spalding we got um, behind this is um, Danielle Steele uh, Nicholas Sparks and What's her name? Nora Roberts. Then here, I'll give you a bit of an overview. It's more the rom-com books. So we start here. These are my Penny Vincenzi books. Uh, all, I think I have all of her books. Um, then we have some Sophie Kinsella books. Also really like her. Behind it we have um, some more Sophie Kinsella books written as Madeleine Wickham and some other books related to like shopping and stuff because this is a shopaholic series but I have some books by other authors related to that have also have to do with shopping behind that we got Erica James here we have some Scarlett Bailey Ron Coleman books that's the same person Melanie Rose, Vanessa Green, Abby Clements we got Cecilia Hearn Fun Britain. Um. Mike Gale and behind it is Katie Forder. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but here we have some Dutch ones: Chantal van Gastel, Lisa de Jongman, Astrid Harwijn, Anita van Kerk. And behind it are some other more uh, Dutch rom-com chiclet books as well as some translated ones here we have Lucy Diamond and uh, Helen Fielding Bridget Jones and behind it some other we got some Kathy Kelly and a variety of other ones here we have Veronica Henry the lighting is not that great here Sarah Webb and behind it we have some um, more rom chiclet rom-com books that are more about like glamour and stuff I have it's by a few different authors here we have Marion Keys and oh, oh yeah my rainbow I um I have quite a few standalone rom-coms as well that I have one book by the author and nothing else and I created the rainbow behind it as you can see but then I didn't have space for Marion Keys so I had to put that in front but the rainbow is behind it and I'm not entirely sure what's behind this um, I think it's Jenny Corgan here we have Chris Manby and uh, Janie Fraser we have uh, Melissa Hill behind here and um, Julie Cohen oh, that's still Julie Cohen um, and behind that we got Cherry and Green here we have Sin Sinead Moriarty um, and we have Melissa Nathan we have a variety of other books behind here okay so we got Wendy Holden and Barbara Dolinsky behind here then we have Millie Johnson no sorry <laughs> would help if I had the right shelf then we have Millie Johnson and um, yeah that's a bunch of uh, various by various authors oh I think that's Shinny Colgan actually yeah so um, I was wrong then about what's at the top oh she loves flooding okay 
Yeah, when you've just reorganised your bookshelves, you have you, you don't know yet. You can't remember what you put where exactly, at least in my case. So, but I'll get used to it. It was so much fun reorganising my shelves. I do enjoy it because I was given this bookcase. This was the new one. Um, okay. Then we have the last sort of rom-com shelf, and that is Belinda Chance, Leanne Moriarty. Um, yeah, variety of things behind it. I don't know what's behind that. Uh, and then we have some classics, some fairy tales, uh, Jane Eyre, well, a couple of those. Then we're moving on to this bookcase. Let's see. That helps, I think. I appreciate that. Soon. So this is the new bookcase. It's not that super for a bookcase because, as you can see, it it needs more shelves. Really, it's quite deep. So it it's not really meant for books. I guess what I'm trying to say, but I'm happy with it. Um, and maybe uh, we'll be able to find an extra shelf sometime. This top shelf has all of my Donald Duck books in it. Um, I do have a lot more of the comics, the magazine, but um, these are just the books. Um, there's not a lot behind it because I can't, I can't reach there. So, yeah, these are all my um, graphic memoirs, uh, with a few exceptions, like because this is a graphic memoir, but this is a graphic novel. So, if an author does both of those, then it depends where I put them and yeah this is a graphic information book but then we have graphic novels so yeah that's that um, I also have the babysitters club um, graphic novels but they are at the babysitters club section which I'll show you later and I have some uh, Terry Pratchett ones which are in that section and so if it's part of a series that also has like normal books then it's in that section if that makes sense. I always my books by genre in case you hadn't noticed that. This is all, a lot of my travel books. Uh, most of them are bought at the library at a sale as you can see. And then uh, here we have some some game guides. This is all of my cookbooks. I have to say I don't use cookbooks a whole lot anymore. Yeah this is this is just some old stuff. But yeah. Okay, we're getting, we're moving to the last section, which is this section. All of this is, uh, well, mostly contemporary fiction. There's my sink. Um, so, I'll give you a view from this side, if I can. Alright. So, on this, this old bookshelf, this first one, is um, adult contemporary fiction and there's some more I look contemporary fiction in the next one over um, so we start with the first shelf and that is Jodie Picoult and I really like her she's one of my favorite contemporary fiction authors more stuff behind it um, I think it's oh yeah John Irving and a bunch of other other things um, here we have Diane Chamberlain. I also really like her books. And again, more stuff behind it. Behind it we have Susan Lewis. Yep. Here we have Catherine Ryan Hyde. I also really like her. With some of my favourite books on top. And also a couple of unread ones. And I think behind this we have uh, Maeve Binchy. Let me check that out. Yep. Okay. And as well as some some other books, but I don't want to tell you about all of them because then we would be here a long time. Um, this shelf is a uh, Dorothy Coombson and Kristen Hanna, and a bunch of other things. Yeah, just a variety of things. Here we have uh, a shelf with some translated books, and with that I mean translated into. Dutch or English, um, but not originally Dutch or English, if that makes sense, for the most part. Um, so we have some Haruki Murakami, some other Japanese authors, we have some Norwegian authors, 
some books from India. I don't think those are translated. Uh, we have some books from Italy, France. Um, this is also from a Scandinavian country with some German book. Um, this is a Dutch book, but it just fit there. There's more translated works behind it by um, like Norwegian and Swedish authors, I think. Here we have yeah, just some some random some various books here by authors that I don't have lots of books from, if that makes sense. Then we get to um, this bookshelf, and let me start with the bottom one because that's still that's the adult fiction. Um, these are all uh, Dutch literary works and literary authors: Harry Mulisch and Anna Enquist, Anna Blaman. Well, I have a whole bunch of other ones at the back. Then here we have my lysters, and that's triple stacked. Um, the lysters are, are or at least used to be, I think they still are, um, a series. Um, publisher of series that um, publishes books in like, um, like you buy like an assortment of like five or six, um, usually five I think books um, that have been picked and then each year they have well, I'm not sure I'm explaining it all this well but I'll show you see so this is book five in the 1994 series of the Vogelijsters and you see these are all Vogelijsters so here we have for example 1997 book two this is Jonge Lijsters 2000 well and there's more for adults behind it and um, I used to get these through my primary school my high school then these two shelves contain um, short story collections and anthologies. So these are my quick reads. So they're all like novella short stories. And then behind it we have some anthologies, um, children's anthologies, some science fiction, some adult anthologies. These are some mostly young adult anthologies. And behind it we have a bunch of science fiction anthologies for adults as well as some other ones. These ones are books written by uh, booktubers or people that I know and they have a variety of genres so I thought they would go here well. Then these top two shelves are young adult and then here it continues with the young adult. So, um, so this top shelf has uh, books um, with autism or books by authors with autism in mostly the contemporary fiction genre um, and so the state of grace for example has an autistic character by an autistic author but these ones as far as I know don't have an autistic character in it but they're also written by her so that's why they're in this section because I don't like to split up books by an author um, this section contains some of my favorite books and also still some books to read these are more feminist books um, but yeah, then these, um, this section contains um, four part books with characters of color, of color in which like racism or other things related to that culture and in which that is important in some way. Um, though also some of those are in the mental illness section, but um, we have some, some more random YA behind it. Uh, then this section has a lot of LGBT books behind it as well, and uh, yeah. So we got some uh, David Leviton behind it, and um, yeah, a bunch of other other stuff. Not all LGBT, but some of it. And then we have here we have A.S. King. I really like A.S. King, and these are just some fandom related books. Um, this is also triple stack I think there's some more books behind it some more LGBT books behind it and other things here we have some books related to mental illness also behind it this is Dirk Bracke he is Belgian um, some books related to mental illness here and behind it and also other things not just mental illness um, these are some a couple of these books are related to uh, anorexia as well as some other, also some other book. This is Chloe Slay. Uh, she is a famous um, 
Dutch author for children's and young adult books. I have a lot of her works, I really like them. And some uh, some Cynthia Voigt behind it, as well as some other some other works. Here we have Francine Oman, uh, also Dutch, also has written a lot of uh, children's and um, young adult books. Um, and we have some other books behind it. Here we have some more like romance like contemporaries if that makes sense so we have stephanie perkins jenny hahn bunch of other stuff bunch of other stuff behind it yeah then we get to i'll try and show you this view we get to the more the children's section now hope i'm not moving too quickly so on the top shelf we have just a a bunch of various books in like series publishing series they are all standalone i think but and thai singer we also have some more books behind it um here we have a lot of jack freen's books and the matcha books some more books behind it some books from my childhood and youth uh miriam olderhaven gus kuyer anke de vries more books behind it I mean, there's, there's there's lots of different short, yeah, I don't want to name all the authors sort of thing. Luc de Scamps, he is a Belgian author. Dolph Verhoen, Lydia Roth, again more books behind it. Here we have Roald Dahl, I really like his works, his children's books in particular. Jan Ter Lau, I used to read him a lot, he also writes children's and um, young adult books. Or, yeah. Also have some books for adults, more books behind it. Kaya Kasimir. Mirjam Maus, Tonke Dracht, more books behind it, some books over there. Here we get to my Babysitter's Club bookshelf. So these are my Dutch Babysitter's Club books. The mystery ones are behind it. The English ones I have, I have a, a few um, of the normal series in English, they are behind it. Um, some also other, some um, Anne M. Martin books behind it and a few there. There's some other books. Here we have my Tina Topper series. Um, I have a lot of these. More are behind it. And also some other more like romance, but then for a bit younger. A more like a teen, younger teens audience, if that makes sense. This is my Virginia Andrews shelf. I used to read a lot of her books when I was younger. And these are my Stilton shelves. Children of Stilton and Thea Stilton. And we also have the books by Oscar Tortuga, but like they're all made by the same company, so... I have read a lot of these and also have read a lot of them from the library. And here... Um, we have a bunch of uh, Dutch authors at the back. Um, some Dutch authors and also some other... some books in English at the front. Um, yeah, not gonna name all of them. I really like those. Uh, Colored pages, so I decided to put these books that have colored pages together. We're almost there now. Oh, let me show you overview there. Um, so this top shelf contains James Patterson books at the back, his ch series for children. I'm not that fond of his trailers, don't really read those much or anything, but I more keen on like the children's books he writes with other people um so diary of a wimpy kid dog diaries um tom gates barry loser and some other miscellaneous books um and to the back here we have some miscellaneous books but let me sort the front we have the the treehouse series bunch of other books we have david williams some some more books various books behind here oh. so we'll do tom fletcher and yeah just a variety of other books um yeah the same here just a lot of so this is uh we got Wilf, the Bolds, Joe Crowley, 
the Tabba Twins, Big Nate, some books by Ross Welford, some books by Leela Thompson, and the Terrible Two. And then behind it are a whole other, uh, not Enid Blyton is behind it. And we have, see Enid Blyton? Um, as a couple of other Matt Haig, then we have uh, Timmy Failure and Moon Boy, and then the last two shelves. So here is um, at the back are some uh, Dutch uh, books, mostly published in like the 90s, late 80s, early 90s, late 90s, early 2000s, maybe. Um, from Suklicht and other uh, series published by Zweis. So it's a variety of authors, but they're all uh, relatively short books and written for um, um, like not middle grade, but a bit younger children. Um, here we have uh, Tim Collins, we have Gary Northfield, we have um, Dave Pilkey and some other books on top. And then the bottom shelf contains uh, my picture books and most of these are from my childhood. A couple were bought more recently in like uh, book um, sales at the library um, in like the recent years but most of these are from my childhood and that's it you can see me now in the mirror not looking too elegant I've lost stuff in my pockets <laughs> um, because I'm just wearing but there we go I'm gonna walk back now. I hope you got a nice look at everything. Or at least everything that I showed because um, there is a lot here. I have to even see if I post this or not. But at least I have it for myself. Um, I also took pictures. So yeah, this was this took me a while to reorganize um, a lot of these shelves. Like I said, some of them haven't um, been redone, but a lot of them have, and that took me a while to do all that. And it was so much fun. I really do enjoy that, particularly when I get a new shelf so I can expand. This room is these rooms are pretty full now, though. I don't think there is now much more space to expand or anything. But anyway. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, if we press something. Thank you very much for watching all of this, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!